Good morning. <laughs> Happy to see you. Good morning, Dad. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty grumpy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're silly. They're silly. I think I know what happened. You you dreamed that she cried and we fed her and you got up and changed your diaper and put her back to bed. You did that in your dream. It's a pretty awful dream. <gasps> what do you have to say? She always looks so, like, struck by the camera when I put it in her face. Yeah, you were smiling a second ago. Did you just get surprised? You gonna have a good day today? Oh, big yawn. Okay, so story time. We woke up this morning, and, like, the first thing Travis says is, Wow, that like, that was awful. And I'm like, what? What was awful? She's like, she was up like every two hours, like all night last night. Like, what are you talking about? Like we went to bed at like 9.30, woke up at 12.30, fed her diaper back down. And then she was out till like 5.30. Like, what, what are you talking about? I even like pulled up my app because we track all of our feedings in an app and i'm like yeah no went to bed at 9 30 like that was when we fed her last then 12 30 and 5 30 that's like three hours and then five hours and he was like no we were definitely up at 3 30 i'm like no we weren't like i showed him the app he was so convinced that we had gotten up at 3 30 he's like i remember looking at the clock it was 3 30 we fed her, I got up, changed her diaper, and we put her back down. I'm like, no, like, we literally did not. Um, I've never not logged a feeding ever <laughs> in the app. Um, plus, I have no memory of doing that. Like, that didn't, that didn't happen. So, my conclusion on this situation is that he literally dreamed it. He had a dream that we got up better changed her went back to bed at 3 30 um so my question is parents out there has this ever happened to you um where you literally are taking care of your baby in your dreams thinking that it's real life let me know finally got all our seeds started i had to kind of go through and sort them because i lost some now, these, I think, are jalapeno, but they could be poblano. So I'm just going to leave them in there, and we'll deal with that later. But I've got all our starter packets here. This has always worked well for me in the past. Just do a wet paper towel, put them in a bag. Well, we usually do a Tupperware, but bag should be fine here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So now that we have the seeds started, it's crunch time because we don't have a garden yet. We don't have any like anything fenced off or tilled up. So uh, yeah, gonna have to do that here in the next two weekends for sure. <laughs> so we have big news. Rena is three months old. <laughs> Look at that kid. Hey guys. That is what a three month old baby looks like. Fresh and clean, just got out of the bath. Yeah. Um, that's not the big news though. The big news is that we have finally finished the nursery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three months after the birth of our child. I mm -hmm. feel like that's not that uncommon. Mm -hmm. And to be fair to us, um, we didn't like move into this house until December eight. December eight. She was born like less than two months later. Yeah. So um, we did not have that much prep time, mm -mm. so I think we did pretty good, all things considered. Getting a nursery done while you're trying to find your pots and pans isn't exactly, like, <laughs> easy. It was a bit of a struggle, <laughs> yeah. but we did, we did pull it off eventually. Yeah. 
So yeah, we wanted to do a little before and after for you guys. Um, we're very excited to finally show it off and then check it off the list. This project yeah. is done <laughs> after yeah. today. So originally the bedroom was like a light teal, kind of blue, um, had white trim. Inside of the closet was white and there was a floor to ceiling shelving unit that they had built in there. The previous owners. Previous, yeah, previous owners had built it. Must have built it in the room because I tried to drag it out to put it in the basement and it would not fit. So I ended up having to cut it in half. Like literally saw it in <laughs> half. <Yeah. laughs> um, and now it's in the basement as uh, extra storage. Yep, so that's been repurposed. So this is what we did with that shelving unit. This white thing is the top half of it and over here that's the bottom of it. So now it's just in our basement and we use it for storage. And then here are some close-ups of the closet specifically because uh, we did a lot of work in there and I wanted to show you some before photos of what that used to look like when we first moved in. Mr. Robart did a lot of work in there. <laughs> yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Robart. Yeah. My goals for the nursery, and I'm going to preface this by saying that I am not an interior decorator. Um, that's not something that I've ever done. We've never had a home to decorate. However, I did have some goals and particular things that I wanted for the nursery. I wanted it to be, you know, warm, kind of cozy, earthy colors using a lot of like natural wood. We wanted lots of storage space. That was a big deal to me because we wanted it to also be a room that she could kind of grow into as she gets older, so a space that could kind of grow with her and be functional now and later. Um, and we also were hoping that we could have it double up as a guest room while she's little, um, if we have people come over, because the other bedroom upstairs is not heated, so it's very cold in there um, in the winter. Presumably very hot up there in the summer, although we haven't experienced that yet. So not ideal for a guest room necessarily. Um, so we were hoping to have this as kind of a backup that people could, could stay in. So we wanted there to be a bed in there as well. First thing we did in the room was remove that shelving unit. Um, took the hanging rods out of the closet and then patched all the holes because they had you know hung paintings and other things in there. We got all... The hanging rods out of here, patched up those just now, so those will have to dry. Uh, also notice I missed a couple over here, so those I just did today uh, and have to dry, but this wall is ready to go. So we're gonna prime this one. We're gonna hope that the green is dark enough to cover this one. And we'll start working our way around, yeah. So, after that... Keep bouncing, Dad. So, after getting everything patched up, we went and bought the five-gallon bucket of Kills Primer. Cause, Massive yeah, yeah. primer. <laughs> we figured we were doing the kitchen and the bathroom, so, yeah, we needed it. Um, and we primed three of the walls that were going to be white uh, to cover that teal, and then we left the accent wall that was going to be green without it because we figured it was dark enough to cover it. Hoping it would be dark enough. Hoped it was <laughs> dark enough. Wish yeah. it did. It worked out. Yeah. Then we painted. I uh, started with the green wall, then did the three white walls. Here's what it looked like once we got the paint on the walls. And that was as far as we got. Uh, <laughs> before I had to go be induced. So with the concerns at the end of my pregnancy, um, we had like started picking out furniture and stuff like that. Um, and then I yeah, had to go, go give birth two weeks early. So we did not get very far with that. But luckily our parents stepped up and really helped us out to kind of get some of that stuff done while we were <laughs> giving birth. So literally while we were in the hospital having a baby, our parents were like over at our house finishing up nursery projects for us. Um, so that was amazing. We came home to some finished projects that they had started. 
Um, we got this dresser from Ikea and Travis's mom stained it for us while we were um, at the hospital and my parents built a shelving unit in the closet for us. The Robarts built this beautiful um, closet treatment in here. We bought a few things when we first got home from the hospital. Um, we bought a crib. Here's what that looked like with teeny tiny Renna in the big old crib. <laughs> <laughs> finally have made well us and our parents have made some progress on baby's room we got the crib mattress starting to uh, decompress from transport got our first bit of jungle in here started to uh, organize some stuff Finally hung some stuff so we can see what we have and how big it all looks. You think she likes it? <laughs> Zonked. And then from there it was mostly just a process of slowly buying stuff over time and gradually kind of decorating and finishing some other small projects that we had. Um, and that was pretty much it. We've been working on that for the last three months. <laughs> yeah. And that leads us up to now. And we're finally done. So we are going to go show you guys the finished room. We're very excited. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Okay, here it is. The big reveal. Dun, da, da, dun, da, da, dun. So, we got this beautiful rug. Ordered that online. We've got this wall, just a single bed. This blanket was one of my most treasured childhood possessions. We called it my, my moon blankie, and my mom used to take me outside and wrap me up in it, and we'd look at the moon together. We have this beautiful flag thing. So our friends made this for us. Um, for our baby showers. This was decor at the baby shower that they threw for us, and now it has been repurposed into nursery decor. So it's just pages from um, books that she cut up and sewed together into these little flags. We've got some storage space here next to the bed. Rubber tree plant, because we need some greenery in here. This is our crib. We got this on Amazon. We also got the crib sheet on Amazon. This blanket. Oh yeah, my Aunt Molly made that. So she made this in 2000. So 22 years ago now. For me, for whenever I had a kid. <laughs> and it's just so, been hanging on to it yeah. since. Got the curtains on Amazon. Got the lamp on Amazon, repurposed the curtain rods that were in here. We already told you we got that dresser from Ikea, and then Travis's mom stained it from us. It was like a natural, like, pine color before. Yeah, really, really light pine. Mm hmm We have the, yeah, her changing, so this is her changing station here. Um, we've been doing cloth diapers um, so we keep those in here and we have her cloth wipes and her spray to do diaper changes. Um, and then down here, we do have a trash in the back there. Um, but this first bin here is essentially a diaper pail, um, that we put our cloth diapers in until we take them, uh, on laundry day to wash them. So that's our whole setup. We have everything we need to do, um, our diapers here. Um, we do have some disposables as well, um, which we were gifted, so we've been using those up for nighttime diapers. Um, we keep some washcloths over here just in a basket because um, you never know when spit up or some other emergency is going to happen. Right, Trav? <laughs> um, I'm pretty proud of this wall art here. Um, so it's a little hard to see with the light. I wonder if we can... Yeah, that's a little bit better. 
Um, so my, I guess we'll start with the shelves. My dad helped make these shelves for us. So it's just um, wood boards that they stained um, the same stain as the dresser and the closet unit. And then just a little collection of things that we love, basically. Um, some of these were gifts to Rena um, from various people. Um, some of them are handmade gifts, like those little booties up there. Um, and then other little little trinkets and things that we have acquired um, that we just love and we have them on display. And then over here, this dream catcher, where did that come from, Trev? I've just had that dream catcher for years. I probably got it on like a camping trip up north or something. Convinced my mom to let me buy something in a gift shop. So that was something that Travis brought. Um, and then the star and moon were um, things that were in my bedroom when I was a child. So now they're in Rena's. And then we got these three like watercolor prints off um, off Etsy and frame them. So we have a wren, of course, and then a marigold in honor of her middle name, which is marigold, um, and then a nice little pine tree to kind of fill out the trio. And then finally the closet. Um, so again, we have this beautiful built-in closet unit that my parents built for us. And this is how we've kind of stocked it. We have, again, lots of storage space in here. Most of this unused right now, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted was lots of storage space. So we've got these um, currently empty baskets down here. We've got lots of books. What's the story of this Cabbage Patch doll? I think my grandma um, on my mom's side, so my mom's mom made that. I believe made that yeah that's cool um and also the like leather jacket that's on it and it was like my parents mascot when they were like motorcycle camping i would like ride along on the back of the bike with them so that's super cute he looks kind of like you and then we've got all these storage cubes some of them currently have stuff in them some of them don't um, I love storage cubes because you can just hide stuff. This is all a bunch of toys and things that she doesn't need right now. So we just kind of stuck them in there. We've got one of her um, outdoor carriers in here. The other carrier, which she won't be able to use until she's bigger, we have hanging on this otherwise completely empty clothing rack. Um, and then her clothes hanging up here. And then we have all this extra storage space up top that is currently empty, nothing in it, um, but plenty more places to put things as she gets bigger. Um, then we have this wall back here. Dun, 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 dun. Thanks, Trav. Um, this mirror was actually left in the house from the cellars. Um, it was on the wall in the bathroom and we have moved it um, into Rena's room and repurposed it here. And then I got this hanging unit, um, again, on Amazon. Love Amazon. Um, and we hang her swaddles up there along with her, um, night, um, zip-up blanket. What do you call these? Sleep sack. Sleep sack. Her sleep sack and her boba wrap so that we can have them all there. Plus they're just pretty hanging on the wall like that. So um, storage function and decor. So yeah, that is that is Rana's room. Um, we worked really hard on it. It was kind of fun. It was a it nice, was yeah, it's nice to complete a project. Um, and I think it gave us a little taste of what it's gonna be like to hopefully do more rooms yeah. in our house <laughs> yeah three months per room uh -huh. <laughs> seems like a reasonable schedule in my mind